Hundreds of people could live in one Pueblo. Each family had at least two rooms to themselves. As a family grew, more rooms were built on top. Pueblos also had common rooms, which were shared by everyone who lived there. At the bottom of every Pueblo was a special round room called a kiva. Kivas were used for special ceremonies. Paintings of spirits decorated the walls. Men gathered to ask their spirits for a good harvest, to bring rain, and to keep them healthy. Only men were allowed inside kivas and were able to perform spiritual ceremonies. In the land of the Navajo, the people built a different type of home. It's called a hogan. There are two types of hogans, the male and the female hogan. The male hogan has two legs and is pointed at the top and is made of mud and sand. It is used for many ceremonies. The doorway always faces east to meet the rising sun. This way, the hogan and the family that lives inside can greet the sun the first thing in the morning. The female hogan is shaped differently. It is a round dwelling with a domed roof. The dome is covered with dirt and tree bark, while the outside walls are filled with tree mark and clay mortar. Inside, wooden poles about five feet tall line the walls, and above them is a framework for the ceiling, which consists of poles laid on each other in a circular fashion. The Hogan, because of its thick earthen walls, is cool during the heat of the summer and warm during the winter months. Southwest Native American people were quiet and peaceful. There was little fighting. Men and women worked equally hard to support their families. Men provided the food by planting squash, beans, and corn. Women helped in the field. 